Hey you guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here today for a extreme closet transformation. I know it's been three weeks since I last posted. If you follow me on Instagram or even here on shorts, um, you would know that we just found out we're pregnant with baby number two and the first trimester, which I'm still in, has not been an easy one. It's been a total shock to me. My first pregnancy was relatively easy compared to this one. And man, you guys, I haven't cooked in weeks. I haven't done anything in weeks. I haven't cleaned my house in weeks. So the hopefully I have enough energy this week to record um, a kind of catching up with my house and cleaning and also getting ready for our vacation in May. But um yeah you guys it's been tough so this video i started was in the very thick of it i started before i found out i was pregnant and um you'll see that i take lots and lots of breaks during this video i even show you guys um a nausea band that i put on to be able to finish this but it has ended up taking super long to finish three weeks this could have been done in a weekend but i just couldn't bring myself to finish anything and so you'll see me taking a lot of breaks and you'll also see that I look crazy this entire video I was not able to get dressed put on makeup I was barely able to just like wake up in the morning so I apologize for that but the first thing I'm gonna do in my daughter's closet um, if you're not new here then you know we've been like doing updates to her room little by little we did a feature wall we did two feature walls in her room already you'll see a little sneak peek um, later on but if you already watched that video you already know we did like a pink house and we did a polka dot wall and so when it came to her closet um i knew i wanted to do a closet made in here which you guys will see later on in the video but i just couldn't bring myself to not do something on the back wall and make it a little more girly and just toddler friendly for her so i am using the same pink that i used on her little playhouse feature wall and then i'm gonna be painting an easy diy design on top of that with a white paint and i'll explain to you guys the process once we get there but for now we're just gonna get this wall painted which took me multiple days and my husband ended up finishing for me i cannot express to you guys enough how hard this was for me um oh my gosh you guys i i'll talk about it a little bit more probably in my next cleaning video it'll kind of be one of my like podcast style chat with me and i could just vent to you guys because yeah this pregnancy was quite a bit of a surprise and not only was it a surprise and unexpected but it it's been totally different from the first one and it's it's been hard so i'll talk a little bit about that with you guys next time on my next video but for now let's just get this wall painted and i'll catch up with you guys in a bit I'ma tell you what I do Run away, run away Baby, I'm a fighter, never backing down Baby, I'm a soldier, standing my ground So if you're gonna fight me for my heart Are you gonna get these battle scars? Baby, I'm a tiger, 20 steps ahead Baby, I'm a viper, one bite to death So if you're gonna fight me so if you guys are wondering, this color is from Bear. It's called Koi Pink and it's in a flat finish. Again, it's the same. You can kind of see a little bit to the left the house that we did. You'll see a little bit of it. It looks different in different lighting. But um, yeah, it's the same pink. I wanted to, you know, um, cut down costs as much as possible. So the only thing that we really bought for this makeover is the actual closet system which is a closet made and then i bought of course a few things from the target dollar spot for storage and organization and decor and stuff like that but that was not a lot of money at all so it was a really simple diy project again it just took super long 
but I also wanted to mention that I was super active on Instagram during my break here on YouTube. I was venting on Instagram. I also showed a little bit of sneak peeks as I was finishing this makeover. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to go ahead and leave my handle down below just in case in the near future I have to take another break. You can still stay up to date with me there. it's funny because at this point i wasn't super nauseous i mean i had so the way that I found out um, is I actually I was nauseous for so long like every other day I was waking up super nauseous unless I was able to eat and I know that that happened when I was pregnant last time and so I took pregnancy test and the the timing of my pregnancy test was the same timing that I took my pregnancy test with my first child so I was like convinced that if it came out negative then that meant that I was not pregnant because you know I already got a positive with my first pregnancy so I like completely ruled out pregnancy and uh, the morning that I found out I actually had a doctor's appointment because I was still super nauseous and I already had gotten multiple negative pregnancy tests so I was like okay something's wrong with me maybe I'm having symptoms of like GERD or just acid reflux something so I made an appointment for my regular um, doctor and that morning I woke up just super nauseated and I was like this is crazy I'm scared I was like nervous for the appointment because I don't know what she was going to tell me because the fact that this nausea was so intense and it wasn't because of pregnancy like really scared me I was like, what could this be? And something told me that morning before I left for the appointment to just take a cheapy pregnancy test. And I didn't expect nothing of it. I really, I didn't even record it. Like, I, I literally just <laughs> peed on a stick and I left it to the side. And I was on the phone with my friend telling her that I felt super bad and I was scared for the doctor's appointment. And I looked over and I seen two very clear pink lines and... Yeah, so at this point, I wasn't super nauseated as I was painting the wall, but I was so out of breath, so it took me so long, and that's why my husband finished off for me. This is like the next morning, and this is when the nausea kicked in, and it was like nausea with feeling out of breath and feeling super, super exhausted, so this actually took me a while to do. So all I'm doing, I found this design kind of on Pinterest, and if you are going to attempt to do this, by all means, use a smaller, like, paintbrush that you use on, like, a canvas. I only had this one, and again, I couldn't bring it in my... I couldn't gain enough energy to go out and buy anything. I was so tired, so exhausted. That's another thing that hit me so hard. This pregnancy is the exhaustion. And, yeah, so I just used a regular paintbrush. It was a little bit harder to do, but I kind of like that it wasn't perfect, that it looks kind of like a painted-on look. And I'm turning on and off the lights because it was just really hard to see with the lights on for you guys, but it worked out better for me as I was actually painting. So I was, like, turning it on and off so that you can see the progress, but then also I can still, like, work in the dark closet. So, yeah, um... All I did was really stagger the three lines. So I did three lines going um, vertically and then the next row would be horizontally in between those. And it was really, really easy to do. I mean, if I was not pregnant, I would have knocked this out in maybe 30 minutes. But this took me like two or three days. So <laughs> you will see me in different outfits. And yeah, it was just, it was really easy. And it didn't come out perfect. Some of them are not straight. But um, you can't even tell. Like once the whole wall is done and the closet made is in, it just looks like a nice feature wall. 
and I love that it's all painted so none of it is permanent I thought about doing wallpaper in here um, these are the nausea bands this was the next day I was like okay now I have these nausea bands <laughs> and I'm gonna finish this up but they only ended up working for like a little bit but anyways um, yeah I thought about doing wallpaper in here that would have been a little bit I think easier than having to do this whole thing by myself but um, well, I don't know because I never did wallpaper, but I know that they, they have wallpapers that are not permanent and that you can peel off, but there's always a chance that it's not going to come off perfectly and it's going to mess up the wall and stuff. So I just love that this is just paint and then if she doesn't like this as she grows up, she can just paint over it. You can paint if we ever move out for whatever case or sell the house, we can just paint it back to white and there's no like extra work behind that. So I think this is a really good option if you don't want to go through the hassle of like um, wallpaper or anything that's too permanent. Now my husband is just building the closet made. I didn't get much footage of this. This was like when I really started to just feel bad and putting this on the back burner and I left him with the camera and he's not the best with it so I didn't get a lot of footage of it but it's pretty self-explanatory. You're just building a tower and then attaching the um, poles or whatever they're called to the side of it so you'll see him doing that and then after that I'll be showing you guys some DIYs that I did and then filling up this closet and making it all aesthetically pleasing so deep under my spell sorry not sorry that I'm no help cause I'm full of myself boy don't you worry you'll find someone someone who wants you back but that is not me so give it up haven't you had enough I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end It don't really matter what you do Guess I have to tell you again Cause you haven't got the news Or you really need to understand That I don't wanna be your the only thing that he did wrong was those two little corner pieces were actually supposed to be flipped around. They're white on the other side and he did it the wrong way but we both had no energy to even fix that so we'll fix it later on in the future. He has been really tired because he's kind of been doing everything and then I just been tired because of the pregnancy but so yeah that's the only little error that we made and now these are both from the target dollar spot both the tags and the little frame and i just wanted to create um little tags for the baskets that i got also from the target dollar spots that are gonna have socks underwears pjs and um joggers in them everything else i'm gonna hang up like her jeans and her sh and her shirts and stuff like that but for those i wanted to have in um 
in those baskets so I created labels and then I also created a sign with a verse on it about beauty being of from the inside and of a gentle spirit and not from outwardly appearance so that as she grows up and she's I don't know my thought was like she uh, would open her closet and be worried about what she's gonna wear to look good and then just be able to see that verse that reminds her that what really matters is a gentle spirit and that's what really matters to God so I printed out that verse and I put it on the little um, frame that I got from the Target dollar spot I just attached the signs I removed the little rope that they came with and I attached them with hot glue right onto the baskets from the Target dollar spot um, you can also get baskets from five below I saw them there too but um, I happened to be at Target and I was like let me just pick these up so I did all the filling and moving the stuff from her dresser that was in that closet we're gonna sell that on Facebook marketplace but um, moving everything from in there to the bins and putting them on hangers and stuff like that off camera because I was just doing a little every single day and it was just too much work to pull out the camera and also to even get myself looking presentable like I don't look that presentable in this video but compared to the rest of the time when I was just like trying to fill these bins and get everything on hangers and stuff I looked a mess like I just wouldn't show myself looking that crazy on camera but now this is like weeks later when I finally mustered up the energy to finish this video and I'm just filling everything up. Um, on the left side I put her dresses because underneath there was no, um, no other rack or pole or whatever you call it and so I put her hamper there. And then on the other side on the bottom I just put all her jeans and her shirts on the top rack. The blanks with lemon sprinkled eyes. Please don't ask me twice. Rhythm got me bouncing. Bottles got me crashing. Don't you know? Now for the shelves, I decided to put her shoes on the bottom so that they wouldn't get the, the shelves dirty and so they're on carpet. 
and then I put the bins. I, I got my um, inspiration off Pinterest. I shared that on Instagram. You'll see kind of like, I kind of like basically copied a layout of what somebody else did. So um, I changed it up a little, but I really loved this closet that I got my inspiration from. So that's what I did. And I put the bins and then on the top, I put some blankets, her extra blankets. I also put a little teddy bear of hers and some books and then her tiara from when she turned one years old and then on the very top I also got some glass jars from the Target dollar spot and put all of her bows in it along with the little sign that I made and I just made it really cute and the transformation when you see the before and after shots that you'll see in a little bit is just crazy and I'm really proud of myself and my husband for doing this at such a trying time and yeah i'm gonna stop talking now i hope to see you guys in my next video hopefully it will be next week i'm trying to go back to posting every single week after this three week break but hopefully i start to feel better our vacation is coming up soon and so i want to do a clean with me to leave my house nice and clean before we leave and also finish packing with you guys but all God willing, all God willing, you guys, if I feel better, then you guys will see me next week. If not, it may be a week or two from now. But regardless, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys in my next one. God willing, as always. And I hope you enjoy the after shots. Doesn't even make sense Why I think about you It was only one night Only that time And it's not my style To be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk It's blurry but I've got the image of you Running circles in my mind right now And it could fade